When we're thinking about providers, a useful organizing principle is that there are levels of care. This starts with the idea of primary care. By primary care, we mean the initial care a patient might receive, the first and most generalized stop for a patient with a healthcare issue, a place a patient can bring a wide variety of issues they may have. Primary care providers are the ones who provide this. They often provide treatment or guidance on a broad range of general conditions. Primary care physicians, providers can sort out situations that need referrals to more specialized physicians or other professionals. And they can often help patients coordinate care across multiple other providers or physicians they may be working with. We might say primary care is a very basic backbone of healthcare provision. Primary care is often provided in outpatient settings, and it's usually provided by physicians who have specialties like general practice or family medicine. Sometimes we also say that physicians in internal medicine or in pediatrics for children or geriatrics for older patients or obstetricians and gynecologists for women's health issues can also provide primary care. Though, you know, if you look across countries, the common duties of physicians in different specialties can vary one place to another. We also see primary care provided by other professionals like nurse practitioners or physician assistants. Ideally, since patients' needs for primary care are pretty common and widespread, systems would be able to provide a very broad base of primary care. Though, if you look across countries, not every system has successfully done that. So that's primary care. At the next level we encounter, no surprise maybe, secondary care. This is care for less common, more complex conditions that would benefit from management by providers who specialize in a particular condition, a particular type of treatment, uh, maybe who specialize in a particular part of the body. We often call physicians providing this kind of care specialists, though terminology can vary. For example, you might sometimes hear them called consultants. For example, cardiologists, who focus on heart conditions, or endocrinologists who work on hormone systems and maybe focus on particular related diseases like diabetes, or maybe oncologists who specialize in treating cancer patients. Patients would commonly be referred from a primary care doctor to a specialist when that's needed, though sometimes patients will find their way on their own. Secondary care, like primary care, is often provided in outpatient settings on an outpatient basis, could be provided in a physician office or a clinic. But as we get into secondary care, we also start to involve inpatient care more often. When we start thinking about the kinds of hospitals that can provide this level of service, we might first think about what might be called a local hospital or a district hospital, maybe a community hospital, which provides a basic set of hospital services for patients who need secondary care. The third level in our sequence here is tertiary care. Primary care, secondary care, tertiary care. This describes even more specialized care that uses more advanced and more complex treatments yet, like complex surgeries or other treatments that involve advanced technologies. Tertiary care is less commonly needed than secondary care and way less commonly needed than primary care. The tertiary care level is heavily associated with inpatient care, though it sometimes can happen in outpatient settings too. We're commonly thinking here about care provided by the most specialized physicians, often working in larger referral centers with the most advanced technologies and advanced capabilities, and they might be serving larger geographic areas and receiving referrals from a range of providers and hospitals around the area. Sometimes, in fact, systems explicitly organize their delivery structures to provide tertiary care on a regional level with a smaller number of larger, more advanced hospitals and clinics medical specialists set up to handle those services located in an area serving a broad geographic range. There's one more level that sometimes comes up, and of course we'll call it quaternary care, the fourth level. This is basically an extension of tertiary care. Now, if we're gonna talk about this, we'd be talking about very advanced, sometimes experimental treatments, treatments that would require extreme specialization and care for patients with highly unusual conditions. This would be generally associated with large advanced hospitals, often academic institutions, with very specialized medical professionals and other staff. This general structure of care levels is a useful thing to keep in mind when thinking about the healthcare system.